Welcome back to the channel everyone, WX Garage here. We have an awesome, awesome thing to do today. And uh, what are we doing, Kyle? Oh, your Christmas gift for yourself. Are yeah. you excited? On a scale of one to 10. Uh, yeah, it's gonna be amazing. I've been, I've been wanting to do this mod for a long time, guys, and it is going to be the most common thing you can do to a Subaru. I think you guys already know what it's going to be. We got the Cobb access port. Nice. Nice. So, uh, we're gonna be doing a stage one tune, um, just doing the normal uh, 91 off the shelf tune from Cobb. We're gonna start with a normal wastegate, check the boost levels, making sure we're hitting the target boost, and then we're going to be uh, maybe changing over to the high wastegate if we have to. Later on, we might do a, a comparison for the yeah. 91, 93. Yeah, 93, see if, you know, it's got them all on there, so you could change them and see which one you like better or if you notice a difference which probably not but <laughs> yeah i was thinking about trying to do like a knock like and then, a knock comparison yeah and then also like a lot of people say that just the off the shelf tune fix that rev hang first to second that everyone complains about so oh, we'll yeah. have to do another video because i don't have mine yet so we'll do like a nice comparison of the difference sure so that'll be a good one to do too cool we'll do some butt dynoing too yeah absolutely all right <laughs> let's get this thing unboxed oh it is very cold today yeah so, first off, shout out to Import Image Racing. You guys might have seen this on my Instagram. Probably put that on right there. But yep. uh, these guys are the best. I got this within three days. They shipped it. The ship priority is absolutely and, crazy. Yeah. So, nice carrying case from Cobb. We got, and I did open this up before, but I try to keep it nice and pristine for everyone. Got a nice quick start guide. A little insulation, and there she is. Nice. And, uh, it is a little scratched up from, from my hand, but it's that's it's a brand new unit, plastic. yeah. Plastic, peel yeah. the plastic off. So as you can see here, all the maps are preloaded. You don't have to go on the website any, anymore unless you need a special one, but everything that you need for this car, everything they offer is already preloaded on there, so we don't have to worry about that. We got our uh, USB cables for a computer. We got nice Stickers. jet tag. Ooh, jet tag, nice. Which I think I already have on my keys. I think I have one too. Yeah, from a... Uh, Wicked Big Meat? Yeah, Wicked Big Meat, we got mine as well. All right, so we probably got a faceplate here. Are you gonna go with the silver? I might, we'll match, see. Match the, uh, match the color of the car? Oh, that's a black faceplate. Oh, nice. I might do that, yeah. Yeah, the black looks nice. Nice. And then we got the mounting stuff, and we'll get into that a little later, what exactly all that is. Nice stickers, and that'll be going on the car. Later on, so now I can finally. Lip? You see a lot of people put the cob on the lip. I think I got a slot for it. Yeah. What do you guys think on the lip? All right. Oh yeah, you gotta add it to yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. Cool. My sticker game is weak. You gotta start doing some more mods, baby. I know. Well, I got a, I got a big one coming. All right, and then last thing but not least, we got our accessories box where we have the, the couple mounting pieces. So we got our 3M tape and the little um, mounting piece that you're going to be putting on your dashboard or wherever. And then, of course, the most important, the OBD yep. plug. So um, I'm probably going to keep this yeah, on there so I can route wraps. the cable and tie wraps and stuff like that. We always so. give you like, so much more than you need, but I guess if you're going to put it like on your windshield, I yeah. give it to you there. Yeah, or unless you, I've heard of people actually wiring it into their glove box, or not the glove box, but the, uh, yeah. the center console or whatever. Yeah. So, all right, we're gonna get all that set up in the car. We're gonna start flashing and uh, yeah. All right, guys. So I'm behind the camera now, but uh, we decided to go with the mounting point right here. And uh, as you can see, where's the? Uh, oh, there we go. When the actual access port is on there. It's gonna be tucked in right here. It's not gonna be in the way of anything. Um, I didn't want to go here like most people do because then the vent will be partially on there. And now I get the nice defrosting of the vent. I can you know still use all that. So access port's gonna sit right there. As you can see, access port plugged in right there. We routed the cable down through the uh, underneath the steering column here. And I'm not sure if you guys can see this, but uh, probably not. Oh yeah, you can. Yeah, so we just zip tied it right there, all the cables and stuff. So, all right, let's get to the actual flash. Kyle, would you come do the honors? You are the uh, Cobb Access Port expert. Oh no. <laughs> okay. 
2016, correct? Yep. Okay. All right, so you want to do... So we're gonna go Steve, down. We're gonna do 91 normal wastegate, yep. So that's right there, correct? Yes, sir. All right, so let's look. So you also have the economy, ballet, all the other ones, stage oh, two. Damn. You have everyone. So. Cool. so we are looking for stage one, 91 normal wastegate. Okay. Okay, continue. Okay, now we wait. All right, I'm not gonna sit here and uh, watch all the percentages with the camera, so I'm just gonna sit here and watch all the percentages by myself. I'll get back to you guys once it's already all flashed and all set. <laughs> Turn the condition back on. Initiate explosion sequence. Continue. Yep. Resets ECU learning. Almost there, guys. Um, I'm trying to contain my <laughs> contain my excitement. I was giggling and jumping around a little earlier just because you know this is something I've been wanting to do for such a long time. Installation successful. Off for at least 15 seconds. One, two. Oh, I'm not gonna be that annoying. <laughs> What do you think? How much horsepower do you think? Uh, I think it'll feel more than what you're actually getting yeah. because I think the rev lag is gonna be gone so it's just gonna sure. feel better to drive. Um, I think that, especially, I mean, the only thing that sucks is that you're on your winter setup. So you're never gonna, you know what I mean? Yeah, I won't be able to like max really, out, you know, yeah, like, like really that, but, uh, get into it. But I'm most excited for the just smoother driving conditions. Yeah, exactly. I gotta see how smooth it makes it because then you're gonna make me buy it. Yeah. Yeah, Kyle's gonna do it next soon. <clears throat> Although I got import image, keep an eye out for Kyle's order. Yeah, exactly. Well, I gotta do I gotta do the next thing I want. I think that's about 15 seconds. And then I have my idea for my tax return money. So we'll see. And we'll we'll set all right. pages in a and second. We are all set. Oh boy, I'm so excited. Give me All right guys, so we got all the boost, boost gauges, uh, sorry, Jesus Christ, the uh, monitor gauges set up. We got uh, boost, battery voltage, because I've had some issues with that. We got our AFR, our dam, fine knock learn, bottom left, and then our intake temp. Um, car's on, everything's running great. I'm so excited to get in the car and try to drive it. You wanna go for a quick ride? Yeah, let's go for a quick ride. All right. All right, first thoughts? Overall, it feels smoother. Um, that's immediate impression, first impression. We're not going quickly at all, but um, pedal response is a lot different. On the stock pedal, biggest issue, well, it's not really, I actually kind of liked it, but basically 50% throttle pushing the pedal down was 100% throttle. So 50% of that play in, in the gas pedal would make basically full throttle or, or wide open throttle. And now it's a lot more linear. It's just for the, I'm talking just the pedal feel. So if I press the pedal down 5%, I'm getting 5% response. First to second. First to second is so much different. That's, that's that might even be like a, a, a full second different yeah. in, in, in the, uh... oh man, I'm sorry. I can't talk right now. This is just so cool. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> yeah. The car feels just happier, I guess. It's not jerky, it's smoother. Um, I'm not up to temperature quite yet. I'm not gonna do any full pulls, but just, yeah, so I'm really happy gonna eat. Rev to matching, gonna have to, gonna have to yeah. <laughs> re get used to it, rev matching. So just give it a little bit more than I need normally. Oh my goodness, this is beautiful. Cobb, you beautiful, beautiful people. And uh, hopefully we'll, you might be able to do a quick comparison at some point of Cobb's OTS 91 versus MA performances. But uh, 
cop. You guys. Jesus. Yeah. This is how the car should come stock. It really is. Um, all right. Even the downshifts are smoother somehow. I was gonna say, it doesn't feel like you're, you know, rocking back and forth as much. Yeah, this. Yeah, I mean, second gear is completely, completely different, 100%. First, first gear itself? Yeah, is, even first gear is- it, even, It's smoother through the- It feels like you could stay in first for longer. <laughs> Those crazy smooths. <laughs> oh, I'm giggling like a small child. <laughs> um, I'm used to putting my foot in a quarter and getting on boost, but now you really, you have more control over that pedal, which is nice. Um, let me find a spot to actually go. Oh yeah, that the boost comes on way more predictably. Yeah. And I didn't even get all the way up higher at the RPM range, but uh, yeah, it was only 12 pounds of boost, did it? But it just felt better. For sure. Nice. Let's actually get a. I'm gonna have to get used to that, that, that throttle, yeah. but uh, oh, I, I don't know how many times I'm gonna say that today. <laughs> but uh, probably a lot. Um, I am running 93 octane gas with a 91 tune, and people are probably wondering why. Robot reliability. If I get a, a bit of bad gas, I'm gonna get more knock than I would. And this has been a debate I've seen across the forum. Some people say, you know, 93 octane gas, just do the 93 tune and trust it. Um, some people say run an octane booster just to be safe. Um, I think I'm gonna do a comparison with three different comparisons and basically do like maybe 50 miles on each of them um, and just look at the, the knock feedback, the knock learn uh, values to see which one knocks the most. Uh, I'll do 93 gas with 91. Um, 93 tune, with 93. 93 with 93 and then 93 with 93 okay. tune plus the octane yeah. booster. Um, but right now- I Drive like a week on each. Yeah. So you can get like a probably a good range of uh... yeah, and you'll see in the the product description from Cobb it says for the 91 tune you need 91 octane or better. So yeah, there's nothing wrong. Nothing wrong with it, there's yeah. nothing wrong. If anything, it's better for your car. Yeah. Just to be safer, just to have that little bit of extra knock protection with a higher octane than what it's tuned for. Um, and I actually don't really have access to 91. It's pretty rare to find it around here. Actually, yeah, which is weird. Um, Some places. You you can only oh, find buddy. 91, and you can't find uh, 93, but for us around here, it's like 87, 89, 93 is what is normal. No E85, though. Oh, why did I not, not do this sooner, man? <laughs> Kyle, you're going to have to do this soon. Yeah, definitely. And, uh, a few moments later. So, uh, a couple days later, I've been uh, driving on the off-the-shelf Cobb tune for about a week now. Um, just wanted to give you guys a little bit of follow-up on my first impressions. Um, hopefully the camera doesn't slide around because it's just sitting in the console here, but I hear it. Whoop. I caught it again. Um, so first impressions, the only word that can really sum everything up is smooth. The, uh, the idle is smoother than the stock tune. Shifting is smoother. You just, you know, you don't get that herky jerkiness. It's easier to slip the gears, you know, in between shifts and it just, the power band and the RPMs just feel like how the car should feel coming from the, the factory. Um, you know, this, this is really what it should be like coming from Subaru. And I don't know why Subaru did the things they did, probably emissions, but um, on that topic, my, I mean, I haven't really noticed any difference in my average miles per gallon. Um, it's maybe slightly lower, but I, I am running 93 octane gas on the 91 tune. So that means my, uh, my fuel efficiency probably be a little lower than if I was running the 93, but uh, that extra knock protection is uh, definitely worth it. Uh, sorry, top four. Dam, AFR, um, fine uh, knock, uh, learn, and then knock feedback. And uh, with the 93 octane, for an entire week, highway driving around the town, everything, I have not had a single knock event, which is just amazing. Um, 
obviously I'm gonna have way less uh, likelihood of knock because I am running the higher octane so um, but even so I mean it's, it's just amazing uh, we'll see how much that changes when the temperatures start getting warmer um, for today for some reason it's, it's in here in Connecticut it's the middle of uh, December uh, January and um, it's uh, it's about 65 degrees right now which is just really weird but uh, cars loving it and um, yeah so uh, a couple other things I've noticed. Um, one downside is that for some reason, oh, the camera just moved. For some reason, the uh, the resistors or the uh, little transistors that are inside the Cobb access port itself, um, they're making like a high pitch ringing noise. Um, and and from what I've heard on the forums, it's a very you know very common thing. Um, just because there's electricity flowing through there and it's not as insulated for uh, like, you know, keeping sound from coming out of the device. Um, so it's a normal thing, it's nothing bad, but um, unfortunately it is in my range of hearing. It's like half and half, people who can hear it, people who can't. Um, it is just a high pitched, um, so as I get a little older I'll probably not be able to hear it anymore, but uh, it's not obnoxious, you have music, you can't really hear it. Anyways, um, overall car just feels smoother delivery of power is smoother um, for some people that might be a bad thing because you know you're used to that really punchiness of the turbo and uh, now it's just a smooth gradual but uh, overall the car likes driving in the higher rpms now it feels more comfortable it's not herky jerky it's not jerky at all you know delivery power is super smooth I love it um, the pedal feel has I've taken a little bit to get you to used to, but it took way less time than I thought it would, which is really cool. Um, yeah, so I guess that's about it. Awesome. Yeah, so thank you guys for watching. Um, we're still doing that 500 subscriber giveaway, and uh, we, if you have not done that yet, uh, I'll put the link up here in the top right or the top left. There. There. Oh. There. <laughs> um, and uh, make sure you guys go watch that video subscribe and then just comment on a video and that's how we're selecting our winner so yeah right now we're at 320 yeah almost three, a 500 320 so. already so um we, we know sure we, we missed a, a couple weeks of videos guys but this is uh we're, we're back on the, the grind again after the holidays we had to take some time off you know see the family and then you know Craziness. think about the new year and oh this new year is going to be so much fun we have so much more content coming out for you guys and uh yeah all right well we will see you guys in the next one, and uh, thank you guys for watching. Peace.